From last time, we are trying to determine why the transmission line to the dish antenna on the Millennium Falcon melted after the antenna broke off. We might imagine that when the dish antenna was originally installed on the Millennium Falcon, they installed it in such a way that there would be minimal reflections from the load back towards the generator. This is because they would have wanted the signal from the generator to reach the antenna and be radiated and not be reflected back towards the generator. In other words, whoever installed the dish antenna probably made sure the impedance of the antenna was matched to the impedance of the transmission line. We know under these conditions there would only be one positive traveling wave and the total voltage on the transmission line would be just V naught plus E to the J beta V. Now let's look more closely at what happened on the transmission line when the antenna load broke off. When the antenna broke off, there was suddenly an open circuit at the end of the transmission line. In this case, ZL is infinity. What is the reflection coefficient for an open circuit? The voltage reflection coefficient at the load is infinity minus Z naught over infinity plus Z naught, which is 1. As a result, all of the voltage waves incident on the load would reflect back towards the generator. And we would have both positive and negative voltage phasors on the transmission line. Then the total voltage phasor on the transmission line would be V naught plus E to the J beta D, representing all the positive traveling waves. And now also we'll have V naught minus e to the minus j beta d. Get out your in-class project notebook. Spend a couple minutes describing how, when the antenna broke off during the Battle of the Death Star, the load on the end of the transmission line suddenly changed from whatever the impedance was for the dish antenna to an open circuit. As a result, all of the voltage waves started to reflect back towards the generator since we know the reflection coefficient is 1, when they reach the open circuit load. Also, the current waves also would start to reflect back since the reflection coefficient for the current is minus 1 at an open circuit 